Hi and welcome back to another video, this is John. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. This isn't an unboxing or a product review, but more of a product overview. The main reason I'm doing this today is to tie in with an article that I'm producing on the main site just now. For, as you can see, Mayhem's products. Now if you've not heard of Mayhem's, in short, they're a UK based manufacturer that produce some products like dyes and additives and different things for the water cone scene. I'm just hoping to try and give everyone a, a better understanding of what product does what. If I'm in this circumstance, should I use this? That sort of thing. Now, I know Mayhem's have got a, a guide on their site, which is very crystal clear, but the way things are, not everyone may have seen it. So the first thing I'm going to try and tackle is a common misconception about water cooling. Now, a lot of people will just use DI water and throw it in the system. And after time they will wonder why they've got this build up and growth and all these things growing and causing issues in their blocks. And that's because of the nature of water. You know, there's a very simple way to tackle it. You can use silver cool coils, that sort of thing. Mayhems have got something different on the market. And it's just an additive. It works in a very simple way. You get a pH chart, some testing strips, and you just test your water. If you're between 6 to 8, you're good to go. If you're not, you'll use a drop and again retest it. And it'll get you to where your water levels want to be. With the nature of this product, you want to be retesting every few months just to make sure that your, your levels are correct. Okay. Now moving on to Mayhem's probably most well-known product is their dyes. As you can see along the tops, you've got a whole range of colours. You've got blues, reds, oranges, yellows all sorts of different things and um, you've also got some UV reactive ones in there now the main sort of pro of this product is it's compatible with every the mayhems produce but its intention perhaps is to be mixed you're not limited purely just to what your local supplier or your store has for sale by that I mean if you don't like that shade of green or you don't like that blue or you've got a colour in mind that you want to produce, you can go ahead and buy a few of these and mix it up and produce the exact shade or depth of colour that you want. So that's a pretty cool feature of the product. There was no issues with mixing it with anything else. Now it comes in a very simple little 15ml squeezable bottle. You've got a safety cap on top. You've got one of these tear away strips before you use it to so storage, you know, with pets and children in mind. You're not going to have any issues at all. The way it works is very simple. You add one drop at a time into your loop until you achieve the desired look. Now obviously everyone's loop's a little bit different in terms of the number of blocks you've got, your radiator size, your reservoir. So the amount of liquid in there is going to have an impact on how many drops you need. But over the course of testing we've done here, these have gone very far. You, know, you should really only need one to achieve the colour that you've got in mind. So just moving on to the next product. We'll start off with Mayhem's XT1 Clear. Now this is a concentrated version. This is more of an enthusiast type of product. By that I mean it's a coolant that's ready to go. You've got all the additives and biocides in it. It's a concentrated version. And this little bottle, 125 mils, is enough to produce a 3 litre bottle of liquid when it's mixed with DI or Mayhem's Ultra Pure H2O, which we'll come to soon. But this is very much intended to be used with water chillers and that sort of thing. It, I mean, it could be used in a day-to-day -day system, but it, it's made with performance in mind. So if, if you're just the average user, you may want to skip past this one and just go for the X1. Now, the X1 is different in the sense that the way it's made, it's actually made up with vegetable extracts. The pros here are, again, you can get a... A concentrated version, or you can get a pre-made bigger bottle, but there's much more colour choice for ready ready to buy and ready to use in the in the Mayhem's X1 compared to the XT1 is just available in a small number of colours. So this one's probably a more logical choice for the majority. It's a 250ml for every 125 you use, you're going to be able to produce one litre. Of course. 
it's 100 percent compatible with the die you, you can buy it as a ready to use type of product or you can dye it now the next one we're going to come to is a very very popular product but very misunderstood product is the mayhem's aurora we have got a, a couple of different versions here we've got the nebula blue and the galaxy purple now obviously same sort of situation you can mix it with the dyes to produce what you want but i must stress because it's it's becoming more of an issue as time progresses a lot of people may have stumbled across this product in a in a build log or a another youtube video and thought wow i'm going to put that in my loop well it really isn't as simple as that you know incompatibilities with pumps and blocks and different things due to the way the product works it isn't going to work for everyone and it's not intended to be used in a home system you know it, it's purely if you like a show-off product it, it should only be used for small videos some photo work or you know if you've got a, a rig that's due to a LAN and you're going to be there for a short amount of time but I will put the link off I really suggest that people go off and read the compatibility chart and get a better understanding of the product before they just assume I want this because it's, it's very much as I gather still in development and Mayhems are trying to increase the lifetime and that sort of thing um, due to technical difficulties I, I haven't been able to get a lot of footage put together <music> Now moving on to another product from Mayhem's. This is a 1 litre of Mayhem's Ultra Pure H2O. And as the name implies, it's exactly that. It is Mayhem's offering of the purest, cleanest, most efficient sort of liquid as, an, you know, as a replacement to DI water that Mayhem's have got out there at the moment. It goes through a whole range of processes and filtering. You know, according to the website, it, it goes through a very extensive filtering a cleansing process the name a few they can't for obvious reasons tell everyone what exactly is done to it but in terms of all the negative and the, the bad side of water they've, they've tried their best to remove all the uh, all the stuff that you don't want in your system and the attention of this is you know you can use it as is you could be using it to mix it with some dyes if you're going through trying to produce your own dyes it can be used with the concentrate x1 the concentrate xt1 also the aurora I, for, I forgot to mention this is concentrate version so again it's perfectly matched to be used with this now it doesn't have any biocides or additives in there so you do want to keep in mind if you're just buying this you're going to have to get the biocide too or use a kill coil so yeah that covers the liquid now this is perhaps my most favorite product from mayhems is the pastel range it's a little bit tricky to describe but i will try my best with the dyes that i've mentioned previously no matter how you use it you're always going to bump into this limitation of it not being solid by that i mean if you work with some clear tubing and then you put clear liquid in and then you add your dye you're still going to have this sort of semi-transparent look to it even if you use a full tub of dye you know you're not going to get this really solid color before pastel i suppose the only workaround was to buy solid color tubing you know you can get your reds your blues your whites that sort of thing and i'm very much a, a fan of that look I, I think it's just a cleaner nicer vibrant look so pastel is a you know essentially a different approach to this you can buy a clear tube and, and when you add in pastel it gives it a hundred percent thick solid non see-through color to a system so it, it kind of does look like you've got a color tube and so this is available in the whole range of colors reds oranges greens that sort of thing again it's a hundred percent compatible with the dyes so you could start off with a base color of white which we've done in a previous video below it's not a very exciting video but i just wanted to show 
if you started off with a base colour of white, a set of dyes, that you really can achieve some very unique sort of camo greens and different effects that aren't available to buy over the counter if you like. So it's a very, very unique product. Now I am aware that there has been some issues with the colours not being quite what people expected or that sort of thing. From the, the testing that we've done here, we have had no issues with staining on the tubing. We did have a very, very slight issue with the red. In my opinion, it wasn't quite the red that I expected. Comparing it to other pictures and videos, that things that I've seen, it was very easily corrected, just adding a few drops of red dye. But this is a favourite product of mine. You know, you've got so many more options in terms of the colours. If you do go the, the solid tubing route, you're very much committed to that. If you change your RAM or your GPU or your motherboard and you want to go a different colour scheme, you're going to have to buy a new tubing. Whereas with Pastel, you know, you could just drain and rechange the colour. Or, you know, if you've got like a, a light blue in there and you want to darken it up, you can just add a bit of dye to the system. You know, you've got that choice to change on the fly. So, yeah, that about covers all the products that Mayhems were kind enough to send us out send us out to take a peek at. Um, as I said, I am producing something written just now to try and cover the products a little bit more. But, um, yep, that about covers it for today. If you've got any comments, questions, queries, that sort of thing, of course, drop them below. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, just leave us a like. We're very much open to to feedback because you know we're still new to this leave them below um, if you if you want to keep in the loop obviously hit that subscribe button 